Hello Pisces and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am here to bring you your end of February love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it will not resonate with everybody, so take what you want, leave what you don't. Um, I will also be posting channeled messages um, where I don't pull cards um, a little bit later as well. So I'll be watching for those if that interests you. Okay. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last two weeks in February 2018? Five cards for Pisces, please, and five for whoever they are dealing with in their love life or thinking about or whatever messages they need to hear. Spirit, please and thank you. What do they need to know? What do you want them to know? What do they get to know? Oops, I did not mean to drop all those. Okay. Okay, Spirit is saying these are all for you guys, Pisces. So we will put them like that and then... Oh, jeez. Okay. I got cards flipped over. Okay, there we go. Pisces, it looks like you guys have been having a rough month. The good thing is, is the world is the last card here in the, in your uh, month of February, beginning of March. So, hallelujah, at least you're letting that go and letting that cycle complete. Oops, there was one in there. Okay, so Pisces, you guys start out in the beginning of the month very confused, or coming out of confusion. You are no longer going to carry this burden of this relationship because, for one, they're not they're not being truthful with you. For one, but they're very immature. They also were stalking your um, media, social media. Um, just a very immature energy. But you're coming out of confusion, and you're you're laying, you are at the end. By the middle of February, you are done. You are laying the burden of this relationship down and you are walking towards um, something more divinely guided. You felt trapped up until this point and you just, at the last minute, or like, or this last time was like, I'm done. You are walking away and the universe is, is on your side, protecting you with the sun. Things will get brighter. Even though you're in heartache, extreme heartache, possible third party, but I'm not seeing it. This, I'm not seeing it. I'm just seeing heartache. Um, you went into the hangman, but like I said, allowing this uh, transformation, this, cy this cycle in your life to complete. Can I get a clarifying card on the three of swords, please? Why is this Three of Swords here for Pisces? Ooh. Oops. Okay. K, 
Okay, so I have, with the Three of Swords, you're mourning the loss of this person. You didn't want to have to leave Pisces. You wanted this to work. Could be with a Cancer that you're dealing with. Um, doesn't have to be, but for some reason that's what I'm hearing from Spirit. Um, you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with them. But this heartache will come to an end. You will be getting over this after this hangman and you letting this world uh, card. But you're going to need to meditate. This is the... Um, This is the Queen of uh, Wands. Yeah, Spirit's saying to get to get grounded, to get to meditate, to get yourself back to you. You have to be recentered. Center yourself. Um, allow yourself to be grounded, one with Mother Nature, uh, and it's really going to help you get out and get outside. It's really going to help you heal this heartache because you got the three of swords again but you're going to be mourning the loss of this relationship can i get um a clarifying card for the hangman too please oops why is this hangman here so yeah you're de debating whether to stay or whether to go um whether to stay and um Stay with this relationship or go offer your pentacles to somebody else, your time. Why is the sun here? Yeah, you really felt, look at that, two eight of swords in a row. And the three of pentacles. So, you really threw yourself into work, Pisces, or, because you do really feel, you felt really trapped. Oops. Um, there I do, I am getting now three of swords with the three of pentacles right underneath it. There was a third party that you found out about. Um, and even though they came back and offered you their cup, you are not taking it. You are moving on Pisces. Yep. Cause you were being juggled and look at that too. You were being juggled and you're not going to do it anymore. Okay. The person you were, you were dealing with. Um, they are very tired. They need to rest. They need to get, take a step back away from the world and they need to heal on a soul level because they are damaged. And I'm not saying that, I don't mean that in a mean way. Like they really are. They have past hurts that they're projecting and, and that's not really fair. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. And there's the death card. So... When I get a Major Arcana clarifier, I'm going to clarify with the third deck. Why is this death card here for Pisces partner? Whoa. I'm not taking all these, but I am taking the one that fell out first. Oh, great. I'm going to get another Arcana card. <laughs> Why is the tower in reverse here? See, they were trying. They are worn out. They were trying to hide whatever it is from you. They were trying to hide it and it, trying to keep the tower from crashing, but it's here. It's done. The death card is here. Yep, page of cups. They were trying to hide something and trying to confuse you so you wouldn't leave. And here's a world card as well. So it needed to end for them too. This is a karmic relationship to the hilt. <laughs> they were trying to cause confusion. Um, they weren't offering you any truth to the situation that you wanted answers to. So they're, they're moving on single. Not that they want to, but, um, why is this? Oh, that was quick. Chariot card. Okay. So the chariots here being clarified by the five of wands. So a lot of, a lot of bickering and fighting anyways. And with the knight of swords, they weren't offering you any truth. There was no truth that they were willing to give you. So it was time for them to go anyways, Pisces. Why is this Page of Cups here? Yep. 
yeah so oh I didn't even see these two fall out okay so as the Queen of Cups you are turning their ba your back to them um, you are not going to accept this offer because it, they're trying to portray it as something that it isn't they are offering you like a fake they want you to take this fake offer and with the two of cups in reverse and the queen of cups and stormy communication you're not accepting that love offer or whatever kind of offer it is what what's this two of pentacles here for they were juggling by far they were juggling um they need to find balance to whoever this is that you're dealing with they are so out of balance yeah yeah, it's time. I think Pisces or Pisces by the end of February, you are going to be um, showing this person to the door. I see there's lots of lying, lots of um, deceit. They are wanting to make you feel trapped. They're causing you heartache. But um, I see you walking away, walking towards something more divinely guided. You both got the world card, so. Um, both of you are allowing this relationship to end. Um, so learn your lessons, take those karmic lessons and take them with you and heal and allow the next relationship to come in. So I hope you guys enjoyed your messages, Pisces, and I will see you next time. God bless.